In this video, we are going to talk about William Wordsworth, his life, works, education, his romantic movement in literature, and many more. Hello everyone, welcome to Slideshow English. This is the biography of the British romantic poet William Wordsworth. But before you get lost in the thought of William Wordsworth, we highly recommend you to subscribe our channel. But for now, let's make English straightforward. William Wordsworth was born on 7th April 1770 in the northwest of England. His father was John Wordsworth and mother was Anne Cookson. His father, John Wordsworth, was a legal representative and that's why the connection between the son and father was not very strong because his father often had to leave his family for his work. However, his father always inspired him to study great classics of literature, including Shakespeare and Milton. William Wordsworth attended grammar school at Cookermouth. Then he also went to a school near Penrith. In 1778, after the death of his mother, his father sent him to Hawkshead Grammar School. Then he was departed from his sister and lifelong best friend Dorothy Wordsworth, because Dorothy was sent to live in Yorkshire with some relatives. In 1787, William Wordsworth went to Cambridge and joined St. John's College. From there, he got a BA degree in 1791. In 1790, he started traveling Europe. He was amazed by the beauty of various landscapes. In 1793, Wordsworth published his first poetry collection, An Evening Walk and Descriptive Sketches. In 1793, Wordsworth met Samuel Taylor Coleridge and they became very good friends for a lifetime. In 1798, William Wordsworth and Samuel Taylor Coleridge together published one of the most important English writing, Lyrical Ballads. This was a milestone. We consider the publication of Lyrical Ballads as the beginning of English Romantic Age. It changed the idea, concepts, definitions of English literature. In this collection, most of the poems were written by William Wordsworth, and only four of them was written by Samuel Coleridge. Lyrical ballads include Wordsworth's famous poems like Tintern Abbey and also Coleridge's famous poems like The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. The second edition of this collection was published in 1800. In this edition, Wordsworth included more poems and a detailed preface. This preface was actually an essay which is considered as the manifesto of the Romantic movement. This essay or preface was expanded in the third edition of 1802. In this preface to the lyrical ballads, Wordsworth gave us some major ideas, like using common language in literature, poetry takes his inspiration from emotion, day-to-day -day language is best for poetic use, and many more. Lyrical Ballads was a huge achievement. This collection influenced everyone. In this Lyrical Ballads, Wordsworth showed his top excellency in poetry. His simple yet intense language, minimalist style, made Wordsworth's poetry exceptional. Wordsworth not only wrote poetry, but also attempted to write some major plays. Just before the opening of the 19th century, William Wordsworth wrote his one and only play, The Borders. This was a tragedy play, 
but unfortunately this play was published in 1842 much later after writing this we are seven was another famous poem by william wadsworth this poem is the conversation between the poet and a little cottage girl this sensual poem tries to demystify the relationship of a dead man with his family wordsworth's other famous poems are simon lee the throne lines written in early spring she dwelt among the untrodden ways three years she grew lucy gray the solitary reaper and many more in 1807 wordsworth published poems in two volumes and his collection of poetries goes on and goes on like this wordsworth in 1838 got an honorary doctorate in civil law from the university of durham and in the following year he received the same honorary doctorate from the university of oxford William Wordsworth died on 23rd of April 1850 at the age of 80. He was buried at the St. Oswald's Church. Many years after his death, his wife Mary published his autobiographical poem to Coleridge. So that was a very small video on the biography of William Wordsworth. If you want the same kind of video on Samuel Taylor Coleridge, please let us know in the comment area. But for now, tell me goodbye, we will be meeting on another slide English video.